Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Kia KDS uh, OEM scan tool that you might find in uh, dealerships. So basically you can use different scan tools or different aftermarket scan tools to perform diagnostics on Kia and Hyundai vehicles. But if you work in Kia dealership or if you want to work in Kia dealerships, you will see such a scan tool which is named KDS. Hyundai has a very same uh, scan tool. That one is called GDS Mobile, but uh, they work in a very same way. So if you know how to use this one, you're going to uh, use the other scan tool uh, very easy as well. So first of all, I, I have connected my VCI just right down there to OBD2, to OBD2 connector. Ignition switch is on and I have I have KDS software right here. So first of all, the first thing that you might need is for DTC analysis. So DTC analysis is for uh, inspecting, for reading the fault codes for one system and erasing that. For example, if you go to DTC analysis, the first thing that you need to do is for selecting the car. All right, if I click on here, you can select the car manually. All right, just right here. You can select the car manually, you can select the model year, this car is 2008, and the engine type, or you can just enter the VIN number up there and look up the VIN number and you will have, you will have all the information for the car. So automatic selection, manual selection, which, uh, whichever it's better for you. After selecting those ones, you see all the possible systems on this car. So I have engine, automatic transmission, ABS, ESP, airbag, aircon, immobilizer function, uh, assist door module, it means uh, passenger door module, DDM for driver door module, I have FAM or front area module, which is uh, engine fuse box. I have IM, IMS for uh, integrated memory system, IPM, which is interior fuse box, RAM or rear area module, which is rear area fuse box, power sliding door left, power sliding door right. I have power tail gate and code for registering a new remote. So if I press OK, you remember this tick? I'm going to read the code only for the engine because that green tick was on the engine. As you see, there is no current fault code. If there, there was any, all right, you could erase the code from up here, erase all DTCs. But just in case if you have a car and you want to uh, read the fault code for all systems because you just service the car and you want to read the codes for all systems. On the home page, you have another option which is fault code searching. If you click on that one, I can tick for any systems that I want to read the code. All right. And then I press OK. And as you see, system starts reading the fault codes for uh, all options that I have selected. So when you have good, it means there was no current DTC. If there was any DTC, you will see the codes right here. As you see DTC found, I have three fault codes on air conditioning system and the codes are mentioned here as well no communication with ims because this car doesn't have any integrated memory system all right the last one Right. and no power tailgate as well that's why there is no communication with that one so we can basically perform the diagnostics for all this all right if i go to the home page so you have data analysis here as well so if you click this one you can read the uh, live data for uh, that system for example if you select engine
you will have you will have all the data right here uh, you can perform the diagnostics based on the data from uh, each sensor and actuator as you see engine is off so if I if I start the engine you see the engine speed is already changed for example uh, you, you, you will have the value from the mass airflow sensor right here and uh, all other data based on your diagnostics can be inspected from here so you can go to the graph mode from here as well so as you see i have selected main relay for example engine speed all right these two right there if i press on the graph mode i will have the value here i start the engine again so the main relay obviously is on but engine speed as you see i can read the graph from here so this is one function that we can use for diagnostics and if you press text you will be back to uh, the live dot so I have some options here for example actuation test if I press on the actuation test I will see all the uh, actuation test items right here for example I can select the injectors for disabling the injectors I can go for all other options for example the fuel pump relay if I click on it uh, um, so ignition switch must be on engine must be off and if I press ok I can hear the fuel pump operation so you can go for so you can perform the actuation test for any uh, other options that are listed here ignition coils oil control valve and any other one any other options you want if I go to the uh, home page again I have some other options you can reach to actuation test from here all right flight record for recording the options and you can reach to the recorded uh, data from here as well ECU upgrade uh, if you have any event for upgrading ECU on this car you can find this right here software management down here so software management is uh, for performing uh, for performing diagnostics or performing any sort of calibrations teaching neutralization or resetting functions for example for engine on software management for engine i have auto detected configuration reset i can read the vin number from here or write the vin number pcm lock setting or issue mapping and for other options for example for uh, transmission i have resetting auto transmission adaptive values uh, for esp and abs i have uh, air bleeding mode for for inspecting solenoid valves or calibration for or for calibrating a steering angle sensor i can uh, do it from here and for example for immobilizer function i can perform the neutralization or i can uh, perform the key teaching from here as well and the and all options for power sliding doors and transmitter code saving for performing the code saving on on, on the remote if you want to re register a new remote you can perform it from here all right there are some other options that you might find helpful for example service information if you click on that one you will have all the options like workshop manual uh wine diagram dtc guide for replacement or for components you have all the information here i have selected the car so i have all the workshop manuals for this car for example engine mechanical if i select on it So timing system, components. So as you see, I have all the information for timing system. And you have all other options for engine electrical, emission control, fuel system, manual transmission, automatic transmission. Everything are listed here, even for body removal. ETM is for wire and diagrams. So if you click on ETM, You will have the wine diagrams right now airbag for example system wine diagrams for airbag system as you see this is a wine diagram for airbag system and for any component locations you can just click on on that one i have uh the uh, connector 
connected details and here is the location of that connector too DTC is for uh, troubleshooting or uh, inspecting any file codes so for example for airbag if you have any file code you can at least find the file code from here So for example, here you have all the information you need for performing the diagnostics. As you see, everything is explained here. You can perform step-by-step -step diagnostics to uh, fix your car. All right, so this was just uh, a general uh, introduction to KKDS. So uh, basically you need to uh, use this scan tool uh, to perform all sort of diagnostics to get to know all functions but this was how you can start uh, working with KDS without having any problem thank you very much for watching